Hey everyone, this is Mike with TechniqueTV.com. Today we're going to be installing DDWRT firmware on the Linksys WRT54G router. Really, this tutorial can apply to any other router that is supported by DDWRT, but for this tutorial and for the sake of cutting down time and the complexity of this, we're just going to be using the WRT54G. Alright, so basically this tutorial will consist of two main steps. One will be downloading the firmware and backing up the settings on your router in case you need a flashback to the stock firmware. And then the second will be actually installing the firmware, which will consist of what is called a 30-30-30 reset, and flashing the firmware itself, and then getting you situated with the setup and everything. Alright, so let's get started with this. First, you're going to want to go download the firmware files. So we're going to open up an internet browser, type in www.dd-wrt.com, press enter. Now click router database. And we're going to type in Linksys WRT54G and then you're going to have to look at the bottom of your router and find out what hardware revision it is. Mine is 1.1 and here we go. WRT54G version 1.1. Click that. And now just confirm that this is the router. Link says WRT54G version 1.1. Note that there is a WRT54GL and you do not want to flash firmware from that to your 54G because it will brick it. And you'll want to take note of the additional information. It says these units seem to run more stable on the Vint builds, so we're just going to stick with the Vint builds. And you'll also notice a drop down menu and it says supported by. Just stick with the recommended firmware. You don't want to cause any extra problems. Alright, so we're going to First click this mini build that's required for initial flashing via web. So click that and let it download. And you're also going to need a more standard build. So we're going to click standard, the vintage standard. Let that download. Alright, and now after that's done downloading, if you are connecting directly to your router, uh, open up your start menu and type in CMD to bring up a command line and you're going to type in ipconfig should say ipconfig and press enter and you'll get your default gateway and you're going to want to write this number down usually it is 192.168.1.1 and that is how you access your Linksys router so take note of that all right, now we're going to log into our router. So let's open up a new tab or window and type in the default gateway you recorded from the IP config. So it's 192.168.1.1. We're going to wait for the administration login to appear. All right, so now our administration login has come up. So Usually, it'll, the username will be admin. Oh, why isn't this typing? It'll be admin, and the password will also be admin. So just press login. And if that, if the details to login have changed, then just contact whoever set that up and get those from them. All right. So now we're going to back up the settings. This is still part one of the tutorial. Just in case you want, ever want to go back to the stock firmware, where you'll have all your settings again. So click the administration tab, then click config management, and it'll say backup configuration. Click backup, and you'll notice that the file is downloaded and is right here. So if you ever have to restore that backup, just click restore or choose file, and then just click that and then click restore. Alright, so now that we have all this set up or downloaded, we're going to want to do what is called a 30-30-30 reset on the router. Basically, this will consist of the first 30 
you'll want to leave the router plugged into the power and you're going to want to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds and then the second part while still holding down the reset button you're going to want to unplug the power and leave that reset without the power on for 30 seconds and then for the last 30 you're going to plug the power back in still holding the reset button so throughout the whole 30 30 30 reset you never want to take your pen or uh, clip or whatever that's holding the reset button off of the reset button alright so let's start this alright I'm currently holding down the reset button it's probably been about 30 seconds now so once again leave the reset button held down and now pull out the power and now we're going to hold it down for another 30 seconds all right that's been about 30 seconds so still holding down the power or the reset button rather plug the power back in and wait another 30 seconds All right, that has been 30 seconds, roughly. Okay, so I'll put the router back down. And now it might take a while for you to be able to get admin access to it again, which we're going to need. So while this is happening, you actually want to get an ethernet cord and plug the router directly into your computer. So you do not want to be accessing the router over a wireless connection anymore. You want a straight ethernet connection from your computer to the router. This is extremely important while you're flashing the DDWRT firmware. Because if anything goes wrong at all while uploading the firmware to the router using a wireless network, your router will be bricked and that will not be good and Technique TV will not be held liable for that. Alright, so let's try to log in again you're going to want to type in the default gateway and since we just did a 3030 reset it will be 192.168.1.1 press enter and it may or may not come up in the past I've always had to do another reset to get this to come up again so let's see what happens All right, guys, the admin panel came up. It took about 30 seconds or so for it to come up. I didn't have to do a reset, so that was awesome. The username will be admin, like in the past, and the password will also be admin, so press login. Okay, so now make sure you're hardwired directly to the router via ethernet cable connected to your computer and the router and we're going to look administration scroll to, or click the firmware upgrade tab and click choose file go to wherever the files the DDWRT files are downloaded to and you're going to want to click the mini generic dot bin really make sure this is the actual file you don't want to accidentally flash something else to it because it will brick it and click open now click upgrade and now you just want to pray that nothing happens <laughs> really anything shouldn't go wrong if you followed my instructions exactly but you never know something could go wrong I personally have never had anything go wrong so yeah I might have just been lucky I don't know <laughs> Alright guys, I cut the video because it was going to take a while and now we're at the upgrade is successful screen. Just press continue. Alright, so now once again we'll go press start, the start menu, type in CMD, type in IP config just to make sure everything is working right. Okay, the default gateway should still be 192.168.1.1. That looks good. 
Alright, so we'll exile that and we'll type in 192.168.1.1 and it should come up. If it doesn't come up, then we'll just need to reset the router real quick. You can just hold the reset button down for 30 seconds. There's no need to do a 30, 30, 30 reset. And it looks like it didn't. So we'll just go ahead and do a quick reset on this. Bear with me. Sometimes things go wrong during these tutorials. And no matter how hard I practice or prepare for the video beforehand, things can still go wrong, especially in complicated tutorials like this. All right, I did a quick reset on that. And we can see that our computer is trying to recognize the router and should be up any second now. And here we go, we see DDWRT, connect to that. And now we're good to go. We'll type in 192.168.1.1. All right, everyone, so we finally got the DDWRT control panel. It looks a lot different than the standard Linksys one. But you know what? It's so worth it. There's just so many cool features, but anyway, let's just get on. Uh, it says your router is currently not protected and using an unsafe default username and password, please change it. All right, so we'll change the router username for this example, just do tech, T-E-C-H-N-E-K-T-V, technique TV, and we'll change the router password just to T-E-C-H-N-E-K-T-V. I don't recommend you do that. But just for this tutorial's sake, we're going to do that. Now I'll click change password. Alright, here is the control panel for DDWRT. Now, right now we're running the mini generic build, so we'll need to go flash the standard build. So we'll click administration. And this DDWRT authentication required window pops up. It should be, the username should be root and the password should be admin, but it might also be what we just changed it to, so we'll see. All right, yeah, it's, it's what we just changed it to. So technique TV, password is technique TV. Okay, so we're in the administration tab and now we'll click the firmware upgrade tab. And it says after flashing reset to, put that to reset to default settings. And I'll say, please select a file to upgrade. Press choose file. Now make sure you check the vint standard.bin file. That is the standard firmware file. And we're going to click upgrade. And you'll see upgrading firmware, please wait 295 seconds. So I'm definitely going to be cutting the video on this one. All right, so this was no joke, possibly the longest router reboot I've ever been through. But uh, once it finishes, you should get this web page is not available or some type of error like that. You also need to reconnect to the router again. And you can probably go ahead and try to access the control panel. And yeah, there we go. It sh should start to load now. All right, guys, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but yeah, we're in the control panel now. So now you'll have to do the same with resetting the username and password again. I just put them to Technique TV again. Alright, now you are finally done installing DDWRT firmware. It's probably the longest tutorial I've ever made, but it's totally worth it. Trust me on this one. Alright, so now you are finally safe to connect to the router via Wi-Fi, because there's nothing else to do. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please, 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 please give it a thumbs up. If you like Technique TV videos, please subscribe to us. It'd be a great help. And you know, if you have any friends who want to install DDWRT, please show them this tutorial. I mean, all the views we can get just totally help. We also finally finished our website. It's www.techniquetv.com. We're going to put written articles up on there, and it's just going to be filled with content eventually. And it's looking pretty cool. All right. I'm out, guys.